you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. You'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Morapass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Tabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. March, 1860. Sir? Senior Agent Hall ordered me to guard Director Rentier's room. He's safe here, sir. See you back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Rentier, sir. Bird is working. Asylum? Oh, where is it? Where the hell did I put it? Get out! Get out! Oh. Holy moly, it's you. I mean, I'm...
That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they And that Harrow guy here, is Dr. Blackwell still calling the shots? I'm sure the good. Until recently. Sangrasus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is Debano's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever. Foul blood beast they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. <sighs> Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is! Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts! Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent. As in, I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Virg? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonant Okay, okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. That's some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working.
Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. Eighteen. A medallion. Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's gotta be another way down. Switch. Warm 
money. Okay. I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... <sighs> of course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. We got company. Keep your head down. Tight. One down. Now for the other two, and we can open the gate and get down there. Can't anything be simple here?
out the second one. I can see that, you know. Now what? Finally. Sir, are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. 